quality versus quantity in the modern third position. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry about that. I ah, had a, something caught in my throat. I am a little bit under the weather after all, perhaps. Okay, quality versus quantity in, moder in the modern third position. One of the things that I've noticed, particularly with the United States, in regards to third positionist movements, be they national socialist or fascist, there's only a couple fascist ones. Um, uh, American black shirts is the leading fascist one, which I do not like because it is too... Uh, we are going to be Italian, or we're going to redo the Italiano thing right here in America. It don't work that way. America isn't Italy. Uh, the other problem is uh, with National Socialism, what you have seen, obviously the finest National Socialist group that was the, from the United States was George Lincoln Rockwell's American Nazi Party. Now, besides shortcomings such as George Lincoln Rockwell sucking up to Elijah Muhammad and Malcolm X, which were clearly, clearly bad things, other problems with the American Nazi Party included... <laughs> A lack of quality more so after Rockwell passed away um, now what happened is and this is also true with the um, what do you call the National Alliance with uh, dr. William Luther Pierce one of my favorite white activists now we are not uh, or I, I I am not a white activist some of the people that subscribe to this channel may be uh, I I agree with a pan-american race but the problem is when you're taking quantity over quality, what happens is the lowest common denominators kind of come to the top because they're the most vocal and they're the most visible. Now, what happens is you take a very good third positionist movement, solid platform, everything, and all that the general public will see are the fat skinheads saying white power, white power that does not get you very far and it never did and it never will so you have to remember a couple things about the third position we are now the diaspora the uh, the jews like to say they're the diaspora well what we are now is we are without nations we're scattered across the land uh we're scattered across all the continents actually there are third positionists uh literally everywhere in the world we don't true third positionists that really believe in the ideology do not make up heavy enough numbers to make a difference in any single country, uh, except Japan. Japan, the current uh, party is third positionist. But in the Americas, for example, uh, we are scattered across the different America, uh, different American countries throughout Latin America, throughout Anglo America. Individually, we don't make up enough uh, oomph <laughs> to have a say as a party. And we also need to start thinking beyond politics. This is no longer a political thing. This, is ha this has become and always was with the third position. The third position, it always was a cultural and social thing as well as a political thing. It's time to look beyond the political because the political is unachievable. So we need to look toward the cultural and the social and how to start building lines of communication with fellow third positionists and say uh, Mexico and Argentina and uh, Guatemala, uh, Venezuela. We need to start looking on how can we start building a cultural community of shared values. We all have shared values. The third position is very clear on its shared values. We have uh, shared economic values. And one of the things that makes the third position and it's used to corrupt it is it is against both communism and capitalism, yet both encourages private property. It simultaneously, while being against capitalism and communism, it promotes the concept of private property rights, and it also promotes the concept of a strong and healthy social safety net for those that need help. Now, what's funny is these are used now in Latin America, uh, I, I heard from a friend that the, the Peronists were led into Marxism a second time around. In the United States, what happens to the National Socialists is they tend to be led toward capitalism, liberal capitalism. And they do this through conservatism. 
And this is the problem that we have when we seek numbers over quality. What happens is you will get a lot of the Jesus freaks. You will get a lot of the people, the Charlie churches, as we used to call them when I was a conservative, or I shouldn't, I was never a conservative, but when I had to operate within conservative circles, we call them Charlie churches. Uh, what they are is they're the Jesus nuts. They have no policy outside of parade Jesus, get Jesus back in the schools. Very bad, very bad for the third position because they, they believe in the same crap as the communists. Everybody's equal, just except Jesus, whereas communism is everybody equal, just except communism. So, long story short, again, we need to go beyond politics, building commun communal lines of communication between the different people. Social media has been absolutely brilliant because I don't have to speak Spanish to people that speak Spanish now. I've made contact with a numerous uh, number of people that don't speak English. Uh, people that are Japanese, you can talk to them now. You can talk to anybody you want now because of the beauty of social media. And it's funny because people like to talk about how social media is being used to control the masses. It's only being used to control the people stupid enough not to utilize it to get their message out, which is the majority of people. So that's about all I had to say. Obviously not scripted, just a ramble. Have a great night.